right, guys. I've got a real beast of a box here. Now, this is a watch gang. Um, I think I did the second wheel. <clears throat> and I won a tier four watch. So I already know what it is. It's an RGMT. I don't remember the name. But this box is pretty gigantic. So I don't know what to expect. Case is pretty big too. So we'll see. It's a box within a box within a box. But I'm pretty excited because this watch is supposedly pretty awesome. So we'll see. Oh, look at this. This is like something from... Uh, military case <laughs> oh gosh so i think that's the theme with uh with our gmt is that they try and make their their watches oh that's interesting all right they try to make their watches sort of a uh military themed it's another oh gosh what is this this thing's huge Oh my gosh, look at that, it even comes with binoculars. How cool is that? God, this thing is a beast. Wow, this thing is heavy. Heavy, heavy. All right, let's watch this video that I've compiled about the brand. RGMT, watches built to be more than timepieces. Assembled with the highest quality of components, they are designed as equipment, engineered to the most exacting standards for the field and military. Whether in defense of the land, sea, or sky, each RGMT piece is an able and trusted companion. Manufactured in stainless steel, highest quality movements, and sapphire crystals. RGMT manufactures watches in honor of each of the military branches of the free world. Each given inspiration and utility to serve the individual as a functionally succinct timepiece. RGMT is a proud sponsor of the Navy SEAL Foundation and the Help for Heroes charity. Alright, so hopefully you enjoyed the video <clears throat> and hopefully um RGMT and uh, Navy SEALs Foundation aren't upset because I literally stole the song from one of the RGMT videos and then spliced together about uh, six or seven RGMT videos <laughs> and just I wanted to put it all together and give something that was a little bit more impassioned than um, you know just me saying RGMT blah 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 but um very cool brand. Uh, I'm really excited about this watch. Um, this watch was, I was super excited to get it. I mean, I can't even say that. Um, as I said, I got it on a Watch Gang uh, wheel spin and um, it was the tier four of the wheel. And okay, so the MSRP is $1,200. Uh, I'll double check and I will put it down at the bottom because I wanna make sure that you guys actually see what it is and i'll put the stock video up there on the left as well on the right for me here uh as well <clears throat> um I, i'm not even going to begin to tell you what i paid for it because you guys are just going to get mad at me and it's probably almost illegal but this is one of those this is one of those uh, <laughs> watch game wheels where where i really won uh and they lost and sorry watch gang thanks um, 
This is a spectacular watch. I mean, I can't say this enough. I will go into all the details, so you'll have to bear with me. Um, it is it is really cool, but uh, yeah, what can I say? And also, I have to apologize. Um, I'm actually doing this part of the video probably like three weeks after the unboxing. I got this um, I got this watch uh, like almost a month ago, and the only reason why I did the unboxing was just so that I could actually get it out and wear it. So I've I've been wearing this watch. I've probably worn this watch like ten times since since I actually did that unboxing. So I know I'm like pretending like, hey, this is like five minutes after. Here's the rest of the video. But no, um, I've been wearing this watch all over the place. Uh, the watch is heavy. I mean, this is a beast. Now, I don't want to say that in a negative uh, term, but I would say that this would look normal on a Navy SEAL. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it, you definitely want to be a big person or at least somebody who has got some uh, uh, wrist, um, yeah, or at least some muscle, right? This is not. Uh, this is not. Probably not a watch for um, a, uh, a a famous uh, horse jockey in Miami, right? Or maybe a highlight player, right? But definitely not a jockey. This thing would uh, cause you to lose the race because it's too heavy. <laughs> but this is a beast watch, and you know, just to give an impression. Uh, I'm going to put right here, somewhere's my finger, right here, a picture of me trying to remove the case back for the movement video, which you'll see uh, in a few minutes. Um, but you can see this thing barely fit. I mean, like, I have one of those professional, like, really professional um, case back removers, right? Because I'm tired of using, like, um, this stuff and, and, and what the the ball and I mean come on whatever right you know so I, I I've got I've got one of those real tools and it barely fit on there and there wasn't even anything that really fit the lug and again not to uh disparage this watch this watch is a badass I mean this thing is is awesome and and I want to just put it in comparison to um a an early 2000s uh Wenger um sack watch so we'll put them side by side. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Look at this. This is a good sized watch, right? This is a nice uh, 39 millimeter watch, 40 millimeter watch. This this is a nice watch right here. I mean, I love this watch. One of my favorite watches. Um, and then this thing, just Titanic, right? This is this is the USS Missouri, Iowa class. No. Montana class that never came out of of watches, right? Pretty awesome. Um, let's see. All right, first thing I'll do is, is let's go check out the weight because I know you guys want to see that because I keep talking about it. So I'll do that in grams for my European friends. <laughs> okay, look at that. So it's, it's wavering under the weight of 260 grams. How I wish this was like an emerald or a diamond or something that I was wearing on this gem pro thing yeah so 200 276 um grams so beast that's all i'm gonna say all right let's um i'm just gonna get right into the measurements uh just just so you can get a, a perspective um and again there's no bad measurements here right this isn't a woman this is uh this is all good stuff going on here um okay so this is over 50 it's uh I know it's rated at 50, but it comes in just a little bit over. So 50, 50 millimeters. The uh, lug width is, if I'm doing this right, about 26. And the depth is quite large as well. 16 and a half. You know, let's, let's be honest there. 16, 16 and a half. So this thing has some, some size to it. You know, excellent. Um, what else can I say about it? Uh, all right, you know, let's get right into the movement, actually. It has a uh, NH35A movement. Um, so I'll do a quick video on that, and you can watch that right now. And then after that, we'll go into some of the other details about the watch. Thanks. The RGMT Terrain is powered by the NH35A movement by SII. Founded in 1937, 
SII is a member of the Seiko Group and stands for Seiko Instruments Incorporated. SII specializes in the manufacture of watches and leverages its core competency to create high precision watches and movements that are utilized by watch manufacturers all over the world. As a well-known quality movement manufacturer, Seiko Watch Corporation cooperates closely with watch producers in the planning and sales to ensure their movements are well represented. The NH35A is a high-end 24-joule hand-wound automatic hacking movement. The movement beats at 21,600 beats per hour with a simple three-hand configuration with hour, minute, and central sweep second. The movement also supports a date wheel. This movement is a very high quality movement from the NH3 line of Seiko movements. The NH35A has automatic winding with ball bearing and is additionally capable of manual winding. Accuracy of the movement is quite good, maintaining plus or minus 20 seconds per day at normal operating ambient temperature range. All right, so you've seen uh, what the movement looks like. Um, based really on that and a lot of the other features, this watch is a uh, done deal for me. This is a keeper, right? I saw a lot of the watches that I that I buy off Watch Gang or that I just buy for the purpose of reviewing. As you guys know, I don't make any money uh, doing this, but um, I, I do so on some of my... Um, Vintage watches, right? I restore a lot of old vintage watches, uh, and then I, I put them up for sale. Here's another one I'm going to be working on. An old, uh, uh, what is it, an Ingram. Kind of cool. So I'll be busting that one out soon. Got to rebuild the movement. But for these, like, this this is what makes the hobby worth it to me. I, I, I really enjoy this. This watch I'm going to keep. Um, well, let's just get right into it. One of the cool things about this watch that... Uh, that others uh, don't really have. So this is a 300 meter, and you know what, let me get this, um, let me get this, it's got a screw down crown, obviously you can see it's got an escapement. Uh, you pull that out so it doesn't, it doesn't uh, automatically pop out or get, get caught, but it, it is a screw down crown regardless. Um, so kind of double there. I'm gonna totally set, change the time, doesn't matter. I just want you to be able to see some of the features it has. Um, and let's get into that. Changing the, you know, you can wind it this way, of course, if you if you were so in, encouraged to do so. Um, but uh, yeah, so 300 meters, which is actually quite nice. Um, you know, s some of the nicer watches that I have are like 100 or uh, 200 meters, but this is a 300 meters. Now I just sold a, I just sold a 500 meter watch a while back, which I'll, I'll put right up here. Um, and you know that was a that was an excellent watch, and, and I really like that watch. But um, you know, what am I going to do with a 500 meter watch, right? It's not something I'm necessarily going to use all the time. But even still, that watch did not have what was called a helium release valve. Now, I don't tend to. I mean, I used to go snorkeling all the time, um, but I don't really dive. But if somebody was going to dive, this would be an excellent watch. If you were going to pretty much do any of this stuff, right, kind of Navy Sealish. Uh, this would be a great watch, and, and one of the first things I noticed when it had a helium release valve, I couldn't really see, based on the pictures, what I was getting, and they showed on the website two different kinds, you know, you've got the manual kind, and I'll show the pictures right up here, they have the manual kind, uh, and then also the automatic kind, and when I realized that I had the automatic kind, I was pretty excited, so helium builds up um, under uh, extended periods of time while the watch is... Uh, under extreme pressures and uh, it needs to be released so generally what you would do uh, now this is not a helium release valve but normally what you do is you don't screw the helium release valve uh, when you're underwater right like you got time to do that pop it out and uh, the helium will release and just enough so that then you can put it back put it back down this is automatic so you'll see here uh, it'll actually release um, it shows the helium molecules escaping the valve opens and closes automatically. <clears throat> now the manual one right here, uh, you know, you got to unscrew it and you got to manually release it, which, which, okay, it's fine too. But I just think it's really cool that it's got the automated feature. Um, very cool. 
obviously 300 meters you can do anything you want with this look at the chart up here you can you can swim you can snorkel you can scuba dive um you know i wouldn't go visit the titanic with this but you can definitely do uh some some good old-fashioned scuba diving or um you know whatever it is hopping out of a submarine <laughs> i guess if that's your thing um all right let's see what else can i talk about so uh, RGMT, the actual company, uh, they have offices in London and also in in Hong Kong. Uh, let's see, I actually have it written down, if you don't mind me looking at this. Um, do, do, do. They're owned by a larger company, uh, Dartmouth Brands. Uh, and so they have design teams all over the world, um, primarily in London. And, uh, you know, I think they did an excellent job. Um, very, very happy with this watch. There's, there's every single thing I like about it. And this is just one of them, right? There's a whole series. This is the terrain, as you know, uh, solid stainless steel watch, 316 stainless steel, 300 meter water resistance, uh, solid sapphire crystal. None of that coated nonsense, solid sapphire, uh, ceramic bezel. Um, just absolutely spectacular. Tons of clicks. I'm not going to count it right now, but I'll put it at the bottom so you can see. Uh, this works really well. Um, let me just get it back from my OCD so it's at the top. All right. Um, it also has a uh, manual internal compass, which is great. Um, for those who don't know, you can use what's called the Boy Scout trick. And I'm not overly familiar with it, but um, essentially what it is is you base the time on regular time. Uh, you don't want to do uh, daylight savings, and then you can based on that time you can find out where the where the time is uh, I, I don't know you don't technically need a compass uh, on your watch for that but um, you know it's a nice feature to have this screws in and seals it um, you want to access it you unscrew it and then you can change it let's see what else solid link bracelet I mean this bracelet is fantastic solid links uh, I, I really, really, I mean, this is a big deal to me. There's nothing I dislike more than having a really nice watch uh, and then you put it on and it feels like a rock tied around, uh, you know, tied around your wrist with a string. Uh, this is a good, solid bracelet. Um, and let me just measure that again. I, it, it's a little bit smaller, but, you know, through the shortest width, it is 22 millimeters, which is, which is a big deal. I mean, this is, this is great. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the loom on this because I want to see that. So, quite good. Uh, second hand, the pip, everything. Everything's great. Love it. Uh, you can also see, too, it's got a little, a little window. Let me get my little light. It has a the magnifier which i'm blocking that's okay i'll fix it later um gosh there's really not much else to talk about this watch but i really won big time when i got this i mean you know what let me take this watch off i, I love this watch too by the way this is one of my my ingersoll's um but you can kind of see just the the size difference is just a really is a very large watch i'm gonna put this on Now, I've got a large wrist, I don't know, seven and a half, seven and a half inches. Um, I'm a big guy, I have very big hands. Um, and this feels good, I, I, I like it. I, I don't want it too tight um, because of the weight, but uh, I really enjoy it. Goes with my crazy <laughs> Miami outfits. Um, but it's, it's really nice. I, I guess there's not really much more to say, but uh, if you like this video, uh, please leave a like and very interested in your thoughts uh, and comments. So please discuss in the box below, comment section below. Uh, and I really appreciate your subscription uh, for more videos. Like I said, I don't make money on this. Uh, I just enjoy doing this because I like seeing these different watches. Um, a lot of them I sell. This one will not be for sale. I'm keeping this one. This one's a keeper. And I also want to apologize. I've had some videos that I've been putting up that were just scheduled because I really haven't had time. Um, as you can see right here, this is what I have waiting for me. I have a bunch. I, I've just been kind of slacking. I've been 
trying to commit to two, at least two videos per week. I've got a few more scheduled that are from that time, but I'll start to get through these and I got a bunch of really nice ones like this. So thank you very much and uh, stay tuned to my next video.